here first point would be here this is the cutting plane right and this is the slant edge odd days one days so here point number p1 days would be there and from this point p1 days draw a straight vertical line that will cut o1 at one point this is o1 at this point and locate that point somewhere here this is point number say p1 right similarly point number p2 here 2 would be on o days 2 days and o days 6 days point number 6 would be there so here two points are there p2 days and p6 days and from this point from this point draw straight vertical line that will cut o2 and o6 at two points here is point number p2 and o6 here is point number p6 similarly one point is here on o5 so from that point draw straight vertical line on o5 one point would be here another is would be here and at the last point on this base here is the point so from that point draw straight vertical line that will cut 3 4 at this point 4 5 at this point now join all these points with the straight line because it's a straight planed solid no any curvature plane is there or no any curvature shape is there so it would be a polygon symmetrical about its horizontal line like this and this portion is removed so this would be visible so that could be joined with this bottom edges like this and this should be darken and rest all should be lighter this would be visible this would be visible like this you should draw quickly the solution of this problem and here this internal lines could be erased it's not necessary and in that portion draw a section lines to show to show the cutting plane or cutting cutting portion right it means that if you cut from here this would be the sectional top view you can write the name of views it's a front view and this is sectional top view right now what's about true shape of the section so for that again let me draw a lines perpendicular to cutting plane line from each points p1 p2 p3 like this p1 p2 p3 all these points draw a lines draw lines from each points which are perpendicular to this cutting plane and here draw a reference plane also of course it is not compulsory but otherwise it would be overlapping it would overlap this front view so we can draw a reference line name it as x1 y1 or x days y days or any name could be given is immaterial now find out the position of each point from top view p1 to xy line measure this distance distance between point p1 is here p1 to xy line vertical line from uh, line from point p1 it will cut this line at this point p2 is here so measure the distance of p2 from xy line on 2 cut an arc it will cut over here similarly p3 is here p3 to xy line measure this distance it will cut over here like this similarly this point p4 from xy line it will cut over here p6 from xy line this is the measure this is the distance p6 to xy line cut it over here like this so locate all these points here are the points which we have picked up measure the distance say p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 as we named sorry this is p6 p5 and two p4 points would be there on the base and join these points again with the straight lines like this so this shows the true shape of the section because we are looking in such a way that the direction of visibility is perpendicular to its base 
perpendicular to its plane then draw section lines which makes an angle of 45 degree with the reference line x dash y dash or x1 y1 whatever name you have given and you can write the name of you it is a true shape you should not forget the name of appropriate view it is a true shape so that is the solution of that problem I hope it is clear to you now next problem example number 4 a cone base diameter 50 mm and axis 65 millimeter long has its base on vertical plane it is cut by a cutting plane or a section plane perpendicular to horizontal plane and as well as vertical plane so that the true shape of the section is hyperbola of 50 millimeter long axis draw front view top view and sectional side view of the cone so here a cone is given with diameter 50 millimeter and axis 65 millimeter this is the brief data it is resting on its own vertical plane not on hp the solids which we discussed till now rest uh, were resting on hp but here its circular face is on horizontal plane and cutting plane is perpendicular to both the planes hp and vp and the and the cutting plane position is not given here it is given that the true shape of hyperbola true shape is hyperbola having dimension 50 millimeter long axis so how will we draw its sectional plane so for that first we draw a circle below x y line having diameter 50 millimeter insert the dimension draw axis horizontal axis and vertical axis divide this and take projections from here end points height is 65 millimeter so we locate a point on axis at a height of 65 millimeter from x y line and draw a triangle now it is given that name the end points divide this circle into eight equal parts name the end points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now draw its cutting plane how will we draw its cutting plane because it is cutting plane position is not given but let me think how we can obtain hyperbola we can draw hyper we can obtain hyperbola by cutting this cone in such a way that a cutting plane is perpendicular to its base so here cutting plane would be somewhere here which is perpendicular to this x y line if you cut from here this would be the height of this hyperbola so we have to locate a point on this axis at a distance of 50 millimeter from this base on this axis and from that draw a horizontal line that will cut this slantage at one point and from that point draw a cutting plane line like this so here is the solution of the problem draw a cone a circle as here it is given that it is resting on vp in top view circle should be drawn and in front view triangle should be drawn or we can reverse the previous problems draw a triangle below x y line and circle above x y line like this draw the imaginary generators like this and this is the top view now it is given that the height of hyperbola is 50 millimeter so from the base here mark a point at a distance of 50 millimeter on the axis like this and from that point draw a horizontal line and that horizontal line will cut this slant edge at, at this point and from that point draw a cutting plane line like this so this is the cutting plane line you can see here it is fully cut and this cutting plane line could be drawn like this two long days two small days one long days like this and this cutting plane line this portion is removed so remaining portion is this one so let me darken the remaining portion 
this is remaining portion this one and this is slant edges will retain with us and this slant edge will retain up to this point only right now find out the points of intersection between this cutting plane and the slant edges one point is here so from this point draw a line perpendicular to that cutting plane like this from this here is the point from that point also draw a line and here is another point draw a line from that point so ultimately we do have five points one point is here name it at point number p1 to one point is here point number p2 one point is here p3 another point would be here p4 and again another point would be here p5 from these points these are the points so let me name the generators here is generator number 1 so on generator number 1 here is point number p1 this is generator number 2 so here is point number p2 generator number 3 so here is point number p3 generator number 4 would be 4 would be here 5 would be here so here is point number p3 and p4 now from all these points draw horizontal lines measure the distance of respective points from top view x y line to point p1 measure this distance from p1 draw an arc that will cut this line somewhere here measure the, dist the distance of point number p4 from here so it will cut somewhere here p3 cut over here p4 and p2 from p4 cut over here p2 this is the p2 measure this distance that will cut over here so locate these all endpoints p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 and join all these points with the smooth curve so it would like this and this smooth curve is a hyperbolic shape it's a hyperbola having axis or height is 50 millimeter this is the axis of this hyperbola and as it's a true shape draw section lines in this hyperbola So this is the answer. You can write the name of view. This is front view. This is top view. And this is true shape of the section for this given data. Right? And this portion is removed. So you can also remove this portion as well. Or in top view also, we can draw its true shape by drawing projections from 1, 2, 3, 4 in measuring distances in the front view that also would be the similar shaped hyperbola so today we have discussed various problems based on projections and sections of solid so these are the references through which you can go to websites and get more material about this problems engineering graphics dot wordpress dot com engineering drawing dot org slide share dot net study villa dot com and wish you all the best for your exam next time we will continue with some more examples wish you all the best